Have you ever wondered how the world's most famous landmarks stand so tall and grand, defying time and elements? Today we're diving into the science behind these iconic structures that dot our planet and shape our skyline. We begin our journey in France at the foot of the Eiffel Tower. This iron marvel didn't just emerge out of thin air, it's a testament to the power of material science and the genius of Gustav Eiffel. The tower, with its intricate latticework, showcases how materials can be manipulated to create structures of immense strength and beauty. Next we traverse to the far reaches of China, where the Great Wall snakes across mountains and valleys. This colossal monument built brick by brick is a testament to human persistence and ingenuity. But there's more to it than just bricks and mortar. The Great Wall is a study in the distribution of forces, a principle that keeps it standing against the test of time and the harsh forces of nature. Our final stop takes us to Egypt where the pyramids of Giza stand tall against the desert sun. These ancient structures built thousands of years ago are a perfect example of geometric principles at play. The pyramids with their precise angles and alignments are a testament to the mathematical prowess of the ancient Egyptians. But these landmarks aren't just about the materials they're made of, the forces they withstand, or the geometric principles they embody. They're about the stories of human ingenuity, resilience, and the quest for knowledge. They're about the architects, engineers, and builders who dared to dream and create. In this journey, we'll delve into these stories. We'll explore the scientific principles that underpin these landmarks. We'll hear from experts and enthusiasts who've dedicated their lives to understanding these structures. And we'll see how science, technology, engineering, and mathematics intertwine to create the world's most iconic landmarks. So, buckle up as we take a journey to discover the science behind these iconic structures. First stop Paris, the Eiffel Tower, the symbol of love, but did you know it's also a symbol of scientific genius? This iconic structure, standing tall at over 1,000 feet, is a testament to the marvel of science applied in architecture. It's not just a beautiful sight to behold, but also a reflection of the brilliance of 19th century engineering. So what's the science behind it? The Eiffel Tower owes its resilience to its unique lattice design. This lattice work, like an intricate network of iron beams, helps distribute the force of the wind. Instead of resisting the wind, the gaps in the structure allow it to pass through, minimizing the overall pressure. It's like a gigantic sail that doesn't try to fight the wind but goes with it. This is why even in the face of the strongest gusts, this tower remains unyielding and steadfast. Now let's talk materials. The Eiffel Tower is constructed from wrought iron, a material known for its exceptional strength and malleability. But why wrought iron you may wonder? Well, in the late 19th century, steel was not as prevalent or as advanced as it is today. Wrought iron on the other hand was readily available and had the properties needed to construct such a colossal structure. Moreover, wrought iron is incredibly resistant to corrosion, a property that is vital for a structure exposed to the elements. And it's this combination of strength, malleability, and resistance that makes the Eiffel Tower a marvel of iron. So next time you gaze upon the Eiffel Tower, remember it's not just a symbol of love or a beacon of Paris. It's a monument to scientific genius. A testament to how understanding the properties of materials and forces can result in creations that endure. So, the Eiffel Tower, a testament to the power of iron and air, continues to stand tall, all thanks to science. From Paris we travel to China, where the Great Wall stands as a testament to human persistence and ingenuity. This colossal structure extending over 13,000 miles is not merely a wall, but a symbol of mankind's resilience and resourcefulness. The Great Wall's construction was an exercise in practicality and adaptability. Builders used the materials that were readily available, including tamped earth and wood. This wasn't just a matter of convenience though. It was an ingenious solution to the logistical challenges of transporting construction materials across long distances and varied terrain. Tamped earth, a mixture of clay, gravel, sand, and loam, was compressed into solid blocks. These blocks, once dry, were as hard as concrete and incredibly durable. Wood, on the other hand, was employed in areas where it was abundant, demonstrating the builder's adaptability to the resources at hand. But it wasn't just about what they used, it was also about how they used it. The wall's design is a marvel of military strategy and engineering, utilizing the terrain itself as a defensive tool. The wall doesn't just run in a straight line, it weaves its way through mountains and valleys, using the natural landscape to deter would-be invaders. This wasn't a process that happened overnight. The wall was built, 
rebuilt and maintained over hundreds of years across various dynasties, it's a testament to the power of persistence, a tribute to the countless hands that worked on it. However, the wall isn't just a monument to human tenacity, it's also a symbol of ingenuity, a physical manifestation of the scientific principles that guided its construction. It's a testament to the understanding of materials, an appreciation for the landscape, and a demonstration of strategic planning. So, the next time you see an image of the Great Wall snaking its way across China's vast landscape, remember. It's not just a wall. It's a monument to human resilience, a testament to the power of persistence, and a reminder of the ingenuity that can be achieved when science and resourcefulness come together. The Great Wall, a structure that weaves its way through mountains and valleys, showcases how science and resourcefulness can create a lasting legacy. Our final stop takes us to Egypt, where the pyramids of Giza have stood the test of time, all thanks to geometry. One of the key factors in the longevity and stability of the pyramids is their shape. The pyramid's triangular sides converge at a single point, distributing the weight of the stone downward and outward. This keeps the structure stable, even under the immense pressure of its own weight. The pyramid is a testament to the ancient Egyptians' understanding of geometry, allowing for a design that has endured for thousands of years. But it's not just the shape that's impressive. The precision in the construction of the pyramids is nothing short of astounding. Each stone in the Great Pyramid, for example, was cut with such accuracy that the gaps between them are, on average, only one-fiftieth of an inch. That's less than the thickness of a credit card. Imagine achieving such precision without the aid of modern tools or machinery. It's a testament to the skills and ingenuity of the ancient builders. These builders also had a sound understanding of simple machines, which they used to move the heavy stones. The most likely method was the use of ramps and levers. Ramps would reduce the force needed to lift the stones, while levers could be used to maneuver them into place. Again, this showcases the Egyptians' practical application of geometric principles. What's fascinating is that these scientific concepts, basic as they may seem to us now, were at the cutting edge of knowledge in ancient times. It's a clear demonstration of how scientific understanding, no matter how rudimentary, can lead to incredible achievements. The pyramids of Giza, awe-inspiring structures that rose from the desert sands, remind us of the timeless power of geometry. These ancient marvels, standing tall against the backdrop of the relentless desert, are a testament to the enduring power of science and human ingenuity, a legacy that continues to inspire us today. Our journey around the globe shows us that science isn't just about laboratories and experiments. It's about the world around us, the structures we create, and the lives we lead. It's in the towering heights of the Eiffel Tower, a testament to the strength of iron and the power of air. It's in the vast expanse of the Great Wall of China, a lesson in persistence, ingenuity, and the understanding of the Earth's topography. Science is also in the enduring beauty of the Pyramids of Giza, where ancient geometry meets timeless architecture. Each of these iconic structures, though diverse in design, location, and era, share a common thread, the application of scientific principles in their construction. From understanding the properties of materials like iron and stone, to harnessing the forces of gravity and wind, the builders of these landmarks applied science in ingenious ways. They used mathematical principles to create aesthetically pleasing and structurally sound designs. They studied the Earth's topography and used it to their advantage, whether it was to protect a civilization or to create a monument that would stand the test of time. But the science behind these structures isn't just about the past, it continues to be relevant today, as we strive to build sustainable structures that minimize environmental impact. It shapes the future, as technological advancements open new possibilities for design and construction. In essence, the science behind these world-famous landmarks is a reflection of human ingenuity and the desire to create, to protect, and to endure. It's a testament to how we as a species have used our understanding of the world around us to shape it in our image. Next time you marvel at these iconic structures, remember the science that holds them up. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the power of scientific principles.